Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and may peace be upon you all in this video I will just introduce my last version of uh, Pokebot and what I use a system I use a Linux system and in the same way you can use also some virtual machines and you can do that uh, as well in Windows it means that you will have like other systems used uh, in in a program or in, in another application so it will become like a window so this is like my system it, but I use also two other windows you can see here like it's like having a windows inside of another window so if I use my bot it will not bother me or disturb or disturb me of doing my quotidian or my everyday actions or my everyday tasks so if, I, if you can see this is my this is a system and this is another system and it's it's like a, it's a window if you see it's a windows in another windows so the bot will do its task um, separately of um, of my my own system anyway we'll just introduce you the and the system that I use or the the virtual container I use is virtual box and I use Windows XP it's, it's um, a very light system or uh, anyway you can use another system if you want it's not a problem so um, I would just like introduce you the but there are some people who would use um, an image checker checking so they will check if um, if there is a resemblance of images and what I do uh, I just continued in with my first method which is checking the pixels so I would just continue with you with uh, the first uh, method concerning the pixels not the images and of course you need to install auto hotkey if you want to like to edit the, the source code so you need that and uh, you'll find the config any file here if you want to edit some uh, some configuration some things oh, let's just explain um, how the bot works so first I will open my bot this is the bot I will put the source and the executable on the on the on the description sorry so anyway let's just explain the the program here so you have XP the first Pokemon using the second one and they have explained this in the first video it means like it will permit you to switch between the two first Pokemons in order to XP the second one the weaker one so it's just an exchange of Pokemons that is done in the beginning of, a, of your battle then you have walk if you don't enable this checkbox it means that uh, you are in uh, you are not you are just standing not moving like fishing for example you are fishing you have just to click on the F or uh, use your um, your tool and uh, just leave it doing the action you have Pokemon recognition this is an option concerning pixels this option it permits you to check if uh, that pixel match with a specific Pokemon and for the back refresh it permits you to um, to refresh the page on the browser if there is any problem maybe you, ha you got a connection problem a connection cutting or any or just a bug in your browser or in the, or in the flash so uh, I will put my application here then you have config you click here on config the first thing you need to do is localize fight button so I will click on it and choose an empty uh, space like this one, the red, uh, when there is no uh, script. And I will click here. So you can see that button cen center defined at. And these are coordinates, they are not important. Then I will back and localize Pokemon's pixel. Here for localizing Pokemon pixels, you click on and then you choose a pixel that will differ if the Pokemon change changes so you need just to check here or to choose a specific 
uh, pixel and then you have localize refresh button and for this one you need to click on it and then click on on the button uh, for refresh or to reload the page on your browser because the F5 for example or these these short keys doesn't work or don't work with uh, flash object on your browser anyway and then you need to save locations if you click on save locations it will save them on this configuration config.ini so these are the pa parameters for example these refresh these are the pixels uh, pixels uh, the, uh, x and y and yeah, the the color of the button for example uh, the Pokemon recognition anyway these are just options and the title for example these options are getting uh, you get it automatically even if you change the uh, browser it will change with it just by clicking on localize file button anyway uh, if you if you want for example to discover how the pixels works and all these things you can click on Windows Pi if you click on Windows Pi you can see that by moving the cursor or your mouse you would see that these positions are changing as well as the color here yeah, the color is changing for example if I move here you can see that the color is changing the pixels for example here so this, these are the coordinates that I use anyway let's close this and let's try it so for example here I'm walking so I'll click on walk and then run the application you can see now how the application is working so we check the pixel affirmation and the same thing here and I'm, I'm not checking the type of Pokemon so let's uh, enable the second option which is Pokemon recognition and let's for example I don't know let's do for example some fishing and I will click on F and they will not enable the walking option so it means that I'm just uh, fishing and here we click on uh, on and let's for example enable the bug refresh or anyway maybe we don't need, we don't really need this one so let's just enable this one run and let's see so you see Pokemon recognition you will see here that it recognized the pixel of, of that Pokemon and how this recognition works it's just it works by collecting the pixel Pokemon so this like you need to to have an idea about the code source or about the source code just by if you go you open for example Pokebot uh, edit the script and it, you can open it with notepad or any other option so the the thing that you need to do uh, let's choose my my other uh, editor which is this one anyway I'll just explain you the part you need to edit the part you need to edit is this one var you can edit the variables here and of editable vars so the first thing you need you can change is the moves so you can here for example choose you the moves you want for example if I want him I want my my character to go up and then down and then left I want I want it to make like a, a special um, to go in special direction or do uh, some specific movement so this is your choice you can edit the program here the second thing is the is the Pokemon recognition. Here you you get uh, the pixel, uh, I mean the color of the pixel and the name of the Pokemon. And these things you need to collect them. It means that in reality the program should look should look like this in the beginning. So it's empty if you enable that option. And let's. Uh, reload the script because I have modified it and now I click on Pokemon recognition and I click on run 
you will see that this is a new Pokemon it's not in my list so it's stopped here so the program is stopped you can see that pause it, it was paused why because we have met a new Pokemon it's like when for example you are trying to capture some rare or extremely rare Pokemons the program will stop uh, on on the on the the Pokemon that is not in your list and here what I will do is that I will just open my uh, my uh, file or let's do it for example with simple editor so edit script and here I will in Pokemon colors I will click on this and I will write the the, the this color this is a code for the color okay and then I will name the Pokemon so the Pokemon here is Magi or Magi I don't know magic crop for example uh, and don't forget to put it between these two things okay now if I actualize again or reload the script this Pokemon would be recognized Pokemon recognition and run the script you see so it was recognized so let's for example go here and uh, let's for example uh, find a new Pokemon so here I have a new Pokemon it's not in my list you can see that the program has stopped stopped it's, it's, it's paused and I got a new Pokemon so I will go here I will write the script I mean the color the code of the color B07860 and the name it's example Zubat so if I actualize again and run the application I will get this so here it has recognized the Pokemon anyway now it cannot move because I didn't uh, enable the walking option so let's for example uh, try some uh, other movements like for example so here I have chosen uh, WS which means up down so let's try this walk and run the script now so instead of doing for example uh, left right and right left you can as well do these movements by changing the moves option in the Poké, uh, in the script of Pokébot. So the last thing I may show you in this short description is how to use the multi windows uh, option. Like when you open two browsers for example, maybe you don't know that, but you can open a new account in a private um, in a private windows and this is what I have done so, so I just need to click between these two and then the program will switch automatically between these two so it will fight here and there so if I click for example on walk and here we choose one on multi windows I have so an additional window one additional window I will click on run and let's see how it does so it moves looking for a Pokemon if I capture or if I um, cross a Pokemon here, like here it switch the window automatically same thing I got a new Pokemon what I do is that I attack same thing I attack so it switch between these two windows and if you can see I have this window here and bottom and the second window and it, it does automatically the job it switch between the two but I, as I told you if you can if you can create a, um, what do you call a virtual machine if you can make a virtual machine that will be uh, better really better as you can see I can browse I can do all my things and it's still 
just in this system it doesn't bother me or disturb my tasks and here I'm in my other system for example I can also make some bots here if I want to uh, to invest in this game this is just like to show you how bots works and how you can improve your tasks in the future so it's not really related to, to this game to Pokemon Planet game um, that's all anyway I think you have understood the idea of the, the program if you have any questions or you want some additional options just uh, leave a comment and shall I will read them and I will try to improve this script anyway the script you will find it as well it's an open source script Um, therefore you will find the script on github if you have any uh, modifications or if you want to apport any contributions to the script so um, that's all for the moment and you will find the files and the script in the description below you can download them and try them and give your opinion or any any ideas that you have on in, in the comments السلام عليكم